Ora bem, pessoal, vamos aqui então reagir a testei produtos ilegais de golpe. Não sei o que é que podemos esperar deste vídeo. Vamos lá ver, venham daí, apertem os cintos e vamos ver o que é que aparece aqui, o que é que a malta nos apresenta hoje. A spray that turns you invisible, a magnet that will get you arrested, ah, okay. and a basketball that makes no sound. These are just three of the 23 craziest products I will be testing today. My only goal is to determine if they're a scam or not. First are these toys assim, water guns. Invisible. I loved water guns when I was younger. This one looks like a real one. This could be an issue because according to federal law, toy guns need to be clearly identifiable as toys. They usually have bright colors or an orange tip at the end of the barrel to make this obvious. The website claims it can shoot water up to 26 feet. Let's see if that's true. I'm now outside with markers set up 26 feet away from me. Let's see if the water okay. can reach the target. It actually shot further than 26 feet. I wish I had this growing up. This isn't a scam, but it might not be on the shelves for too much longer. Next, we have an invisible license plate. Incredible, like that. In most states in the USA, anything that obscures or hides your license plate is considered a traffic infraction, and you could end up with a fine. So let's see if it breaks any laws. The product claims to apply an invisible gloss finish to your license plate, which reflects the flash of a speed camera back to it. The reflection then makes it impossible for the camera to read your license plate. First, oh my let's God, take a picture legal, of my license plate. Enough. There it is. Now let's test the spray out. Oh man, you can see all the letters still in my license plate. I don't know if it's different when it's a flash from a speed camera, but based on the flash on my iPhone, this doesn't seem to work. So in my opinion, Best game. this is a scam. Now we have a metal detector wand that claims to be able to detect metal on a person. So I've set up a pretend security station for my cameraman Joel to walk through when coming to work today. Stop right there, Joel. I'm gonna need you to spread your arms and legs. Man, I did this guy start crazy. Really? Would you look at that? I confiscated a ton of metal objects from Joel. This product is not a scam. Mike, I need my camera. No, I'm gonna keep all of this. Next, let's test the shirt that claims to be stain resistant. Que you guys, né? This shirt is both water repellent and stain resistant. If this is true, I'm gonna be wearing it whenever I'm thinking about ordering ribs. All right, I have on the stain resistant shirt and I also have some normal shirts and we're gonna see how they hold up against some stains. First, I'll check the water repellent claim. Whoa, the water literally bounces off. Now let's see how it handles okay. red wine stains. First off, here's some red wine on a regular shirt. Yeah, that sucks. Now let's try the stain proof. Wow, look at that. I was not expecting the water to just remove the stain. It completely erased it. Okay, so far the shirt is working. Now for the ultimate test, oil-based paint. All right, we got it on there. Now Jesus let's grab the water in a rag and see if it comes out. Look at that. Oh, it's not hey, good. This shirt is definitely stained now. So is this a scam? Not really, because the shirt has a disclaimer saying limited effectiveness against oil-based stains. Next, we have okay. a handheld telescope. The main claim is that it has a field of view up to a thousand meters. Let's go see how it works. To test this, I had my assistant go far out into the middle of the lake holding something. Let's see what it is. Oh, I see it. It's a subscribe button. Now, the bigger concern with this product is if buyers will use it to peep on people when they are most vulnerable. Because the product is so small, it would be very easy to conceal and use. In states like Ohio, you could face up to 60 days in prison for using a device like this to spy on others. In states like Washington, the penalty can be up to five years. However, just as a car manufacturer isn't right. liable for someone who speeds well, and crashes, this telescope wouldn't be liable for this product works, so it's not a scam. Imagine booking an Airbnb for your holiday thinking you're alone only to find hidden cameras scattered around the living room unfortunately this scenario is becoming more common which is why this company developed a hidden camera detector in the US, it's in Europe, no place to place to place to place where someone expects privacy bro. like a bathroom or changing room however in recent years more Airbnb hosts have started using cameras to protect their property from damages but does this detector actually work? I had my assistant set up three hidden cameras in a room and I'm going to use this detector to find them I don't see anything yet but I figured I'd start near the bookcase this detector is pretty neat. I feel like a spy using it. All right, one camera down. That was pretty easy. Seriously? In the Lego? My assistant really needs to step it up. This third camera was hidden much better. I can't find it anywhere. At first, I didn't think I would find these cameras, but I did, meaning this product is not as good as a blood alcohol keychain. It measures the 
Next up is a blood alcohol keychain. It measures the alcohol in your breath and tells you whether you're over or under the legal limits. Não deve ser certo. Like e também não confiava muito no anterior. It works. It could keep people safe. However, while this device isn't illegal, police have warned that it's quite inaccurate because it doesn't account for things like altitude. This means these keychain testers are only good for a rough estimate. But let's see if the mini breathalyzer actually works. All right, I got my alcohol here. Oof, that does not look good. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's wait a minute and see if it registers the correct blood alcohol content. In this case, it should be 0.03. 0.07. So unfortunately, not too accurate. So is this a scam? No, but you shouldn't rely on it to make decisions on whether to drive or not. Next, we have the world's smallest scam. Não é um scam. It claims Imagina, to be the world's smallest. Se está a dar o dobro do valor, claro que é um scam, não é? Não funciona. Dá um valor quase que meio que camera, which is false. That title belongs to Omnivision's OV6948, which is smaller than a grain of salt. As you can see, when I put this next to a grain of salt, it doesn't even come close. So the title itself could be seen as misleading. Let's see how the quality of the pictures look. Not a bad picture. Me so. Honestly, the quality is worse than I expected, especially when you compare it to the iPhone. And the fact that they're misleading customers with the title makes this product a scam. Okay. Next up, we have the Invisibility Cloak Warding Protection Spray. Just, According to the bottle, well, I just need to spray scam, myself and I just become invisible to my enemies and any unwanted eyes. Next, we have a 400-pound magnet fisher. Magnet fishing is like regular fishing, but instead of catching fish, you use a strong magnet on a rope to pull metal objects out of the water. Já vi gajos a tirar em lá da cena da Amsterdã. In South Carolina and in many countries. However, if you're caught doing it in Poland, you can be arrested and face up to two years in prison. I'm now at a local junkyard and I'm going to test if the magnet can lift up some scrap metal. We found this super heavy car engine and connected our magnet to a chain. Let's see if this thing works. All right, let's send it up. As you can see, the magnet lifted the engine with no problem. So this product is not a scam. It's actually blowing my mind that most of these products work. Now we have a ghillie suit. The claim of this product is that it will make you completely camouflage if you wear it standing next to some plants. To test this, I'm going to put on the ghillie suit and hide outside. Then I'll see how long it takes my friend to find me. Mike. Hugo, I need your help. I'm testing out a product and I need to see if you can find me while wearing the product. Come over, I'll be in the yard. I'm on my way. All right, I got the ghillie suit on. I think Hugo is close. I'm going to go hide and see if he can find me. Mike, where are you? It's hot, Mike. Oh, wow, this thing is so itchy. Honestly, the things I do for you guys, that has to be worth a subscribe, right? Who is this guy? Mike, how much money do you make? This place is huge. It's like Disneyland. I'm gonna get lost. You know I'm not good with surprises, Mike. Are you in disguise? Mike, if you're hiding behind these bushes, it's gonna be a problem. I broke several laws trying to get here as quickly yeah, as I could. Is that? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what is going on? It's like your special forces or something. So you would say this product's not a scam? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't see it at all. Work for me? Not a scam. The creator of this product claims that it produces. It's incredible, man. This scene I've seen. I've seen people buying one of these. Jet engine inside. But there's one very important question. I think one is a man. Pull him out of the sea. But this thing is my. Let's find out. I think this might be my first blowout. All right, my hair is pretty wet. Let's test this thing out. Oh. Oh. This is way more intense. All right, my hair is dry now. You can really feel that this is far more powerful than your typical blow dryer. And it only took 60 seconds. Usually it's about 10 minutes. More I'm importantly, is this thing even illegal? Well, That's technically, good. yes. Although the claim that it has a mini jet engine inside could be misleading. It's false. However, some businesses like Disney Cruise Line may prohibit you from bringing this on board. All in all, I'd say this product is not a scam. The next product is a super strong... Way, race, and Most flashlights are legal because they don't classify as weapons and aren't bright enough to cause any issues. But this flashlight claims to be so powerful that it can light up an area a mile away. Let's see how well this performs at night. Okay, we're now at a park and I'm going to test this on a tree. This isn't that powerful. It seems like a normal flashlight. This product's a scam. But if you were to use a more powerful flashlight on someone's house, you could be charged with harassment or light pollution. Now we have something I've needed for a while. The best cat hair comb. It feels sturdy. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And my cat absolutely loves it. Ugh, what am I going to do with all this cat hair? Technically, you can sell it as long as you're not in New York. But that's a bit oh, This product see. is definitely not a scam. And me and so like you, we have this perpetual motion desk toy. Lá lá which, according to the reviews, is a complete waste of money. I've always wanted to see if one of oh, these yeah, actually works. The 
idea is that you put the ball in, and because of the drop and force applied, it should shoot the ball back up to the bowl here. It's supposed to continue doing this in perpetuity, which is a fancy way of saying forever. Let's see if the claim is true. I'm putting the ball in. Uh-oh. All right. Seems to be working all right so far. Let's come back later and see if it's still working. Now we have something I know I would in college. Man. <laughs> a hidden ankle monitor flask. It has lights here, although they don't work. But what's really funny is it has a sticker up here that says property of Department of Corrections. It's simple, it's compact, and as you can see, I'm wearing one right now and it's working perfectly fine. So this one is not a scam. But does that mean it's legal? Well, that depends. If you're using it to try to sneak alcohol into somewhere, then that's a crime and you could face fines up to $40,000 depending on where you're trying to sneak it into. Next, we have these stainless steel toothpick darts. I guess now you can get rid of anything stuck between your teeth while you're waiting your turn. They're actually a lot heavier and sharper than I thought they would be. But are these legit? Let's see. As you can see, it's capable of getting food out of your teeth pretty easily. This I, is really sharp, pretty so I don't know about how safe it is to use this on your yeah, teeth. I don't think it's the best idea. I think it's it's Since it's so sharp, Ferro, man, it's not a good idea. Bro, what are you doing? You really want to put this in your teeth after it's been hitting a nasty Jesus, man, I'm going to put it in the gengiva. I don't think this is a scam. I won't be in a rush to use it. Next up, we have this mini electric chainsaw. I can't wait to use this thing. I love the color, and it actually feels really sturdy despite how cheap it was. But let's see how it actually works. Performs. To test this out, I'm going to first try cutting through a simple number two pencil. Wow, it sliced through that pencil super easy, but let's see if it can cut a broomstick. Okay, right. oh. Whoa. I'm honestly shocked. I didn't think it was going to cut the tree. Oh, wow, this thing is really powerful. I mean, look how clean that cut is. It went right through this. Chainsaws are allowed for cutting down trees and trimming branches on your own property. However, you can't enter someone else's property and use it on their trees. And you can't go around waving your chainsaw at people. I say this product is not a scam. Next up, we have a mess mask. These are basically hyper-realistic ah, masks. Ah, this is the face of famous yeah. celebrities. Yeah. It's a scene of Kanye West. It feels pretty comfortable, and I can see very clearly through the eye holes. Looking in the mirror, I look pretty good. I've always wanted blonde hair. Hey, Joel, who do I look like? That's right, Jonesy. To be clear, these are not illegal, nor is the sale of them illegal. However, if you use something like this to commit a crime and hide your identity, you could face serious consequences. This product worked, though, so it's not a scam. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's go check on the perpetual motion desk toy. Here we go. Wait a minute, where's the ball? Oh, it's here on the ground. This thing doesn't work. The ball must have overshot. Although the product works, the claim is that it works forever, which it didn't. So this product is a scam. Now we have a metal detector. One of the main claims of this product is that it can detect anything metal 10 inches underground. Let's go there and test it out. So I'm now at the beach and I had my assistant bury a metal object somewhere in the sand. Let's see if I can find it. There's nothing there. Oh, what's that? It's beeping. I think I'm picking something up. I'm gonna start digging. What is this? Oh, it's heavy. <sighs> I guess he buried my gold play button. What were you thinking? But I found it, so it's not a scam. This product claims to be a silent basketball. Let's see how it performs compared to a normal one. First, let's see how they bounce. Yeah, the silent basketball does not go nearly as high as the regular one. Plus, it feels very foamy, while this one has actual grit. Now, let's test the noise. We got our noise meter, and uh, yeah, the natural sound around us is about man. 50 decibels. First, the normal basketball, which makes as much noise as you would expect. It's registering around 95 decibels. And now, the silent basketball. It's averaging around 60 decibels, so this product is not a scam. Now we have something I was really excited no, about. Mas gosto de dizer que é um bocado mais podre enquanto bola de futebol. Bola de futebol não, bola de basquete. It looks and feels balls. like a normal glass bottle, but let's see what happens when I break it on my head. No. Wow, it barely even felt like I was hit by anything. That makes this product not a scam. However, that doesn't mean you should run around hitting people with it in public. You could still get charged with assault and battery. Those were some crazy products. If you want to...